blessing. I thought that when I got it 10 years ago, my, my child was 10 and my other child was six and I thought I wasn't gonna be able to see him graduate. But now my child is 21 years old. I've seen him graduate and it's a blessing that I'm here. Thank you. Uh, $1,500 is great, big check. But with what we took in today, we're hoping to bump that up to about 2,000. If, so we're very excited and very happy. Thank you so much. Nakia Hammonds Blakely and so excited to be a part of today's walk and roll. My story is when I was just 16 years old, I was diagnosed with a rare and aggressive breast cancer. 16, just a sophomore in high school. And it, it was a very traumatic experience. I had no family history, no one that I knew had breast cancer, but I really felt like God allowed me to go through that to be able to help other people. Since that time, I've used my life and this platform to educate young women, especially African-American women, about their risks. The fact is we are at higher risk for breast cancer. We're dying disproportionately to Caucasian women. And many times it's because we're not getting tested and um, treated soon enough. So I'm the walking poster child to the fact that it's never too early for you to know your risks, first of all, and to get tested for breast cancer. I lived 18 years, regular mammograms, and it reoccurred when I was only 34 years old. And so I underwent the double mastectomy and reconstruction, but the difference was this time I was in the driver's seat. I caught the breast cancer so early that we were able to get it removed and, and things worked out wonderfully. So I can't encourage you all enough to take control of your health and support worthy causes like this. I think the Lord has left me here for a reason. I've been able, I think, through time to help people uh, realize the importance of being checked for breast cancer. I myself had it at 24 years old, and I'm going to be 69 in a month. So, and I've had it twice. Two years ago, I had it again after 42 years. So the Lord has a different uh, path for me. I thank him every day. We learn as survivors, we learn to take one day at a time. And I think we are so blessed. And for the people out there, please, please, especially the females and the young ladies, 
have yourselves checked out. It's so important. Uh, but more than anything, learn to live your day. Uh, give thanks every day as you get up and take one day at a time. Enjoy your families, enjoy your friends, the world about you, the sunshine, even the rain. You know, these are things that we really have to appreciate. And again, I'm so thankful for it. Thank you. Um, I was diagnosed with breast cancer, early detection, surgery, radiation, chemo. So now here it is 24 years later, never a reoccurrence, ne just a healthy, healthy me. So pray Hello, God. hello, hello. I am so glad to be here today. We are just finishing up from an awesome event, the Walk and Roll 5K, bringing awareness, raising money, having a good time. There were survivors here, those that are supporting them, and we just had a good time. You guys, if you didn't, if you were not here, you missed a treat. If you did not see the DeSoto Senior Center line dancers, steppers do their thing, they danced and left their heart on the stage. We are just so excited about what's going on here in the city of DeSoto to bring support and just let our survivors, let the people that are going through it right now, going through their treatments, let them know that they are supported, they are loved, we are here for them, and we are doing our best to make sure that they know that. We are so glad. If you got a chance to get here today, then you know what I'm talking about. If not, make sure you stay posted with the DeSoto Arts Commission. Get on their Facebook page, like them on Facebook, go through the city's website, DeSotoTexas.gov. Make sure you mark the first Saturday in October. Put it on your calendar now so that you don't miss it. No excuses. You've got to be here next year. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. 